is about to go live. <clears throat> Greetings, unsettled souls! <coughs> Sam I B. DeGange doing the much waited for, the highly revered, perhaps massive Fukushima update. Uh, welcome aboard, one and all. I do want to remind everybody, because I have a habit of forgetting to do this. It, of course, we are listener-supported here. It's a, a one-man show currently. And all of the research and all of the news, all of the data regarding uh, Fukushima in this instance, uh, not worth a penny if you guys don't donate. So please do at the correct views on Hotmail.com. It doesn't just fund that, by the way. Um... You know, I did the uh, Dunce Cap of the Month Award that happens every month that will be getting mailed out. The last one will be getting mailed out, oh, probably by this weekend, Monday at the latest. And then, of course, the show will be between uh, the Dunce Cap of the Month Award show, where we highlight the stupidest people in the news. That will be before the end of the month, obviously. So, thank you guys. Uh, let me know you're out there, because once I get started, a lot of times I don't remember to look at my chat. But uh, thank you guys. Again, that is the correct views at Hotmail.com. You may have seen, uh, I was part of the Trump train repeatedly, um, went to Harrisburg. We went to Washington, D.C. All of that, uh, that is funded by you guys, and you are greatly appreciated. Um... Get right into the massive Fukushima update here. This is from the Japan Times, a regular on the show for obvious reasons. Japan puts off decision to release treated Fukushima water into the sea. Do you have any idea what a massive win this is to for all the people that have told you that sharing videos like mine is a waste of time. For hell, for all the people that have told me that even continuing to cover Fukushima and the problems extent with it are a waste of time, we have just been given a massive victory here. Let me put this into perspective, if you will, okay? TEPCO, who caused the Fukushima disaster, is General Electric. All of us, with sound reason and science on our side, I might add, have caused General Electric, one of the biggest companies to ever exist, to rethink their nefarious and uh, rather poorly planned idea to release the poison water into the sea. Let me cover this for everyone real quick here. Um... Japan has put off a decision, it says, to release treated radioactive water from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant into the sea. <clears throat> According to government sources, after reports of a formal decision later this month triggered strong opposition from fishermen. Thankfully, everybody who is intelligent enough to be part of the anti-nuclear movement is to be praised for this. Not only um, uh, the fishermen, of course, who thank God that they, they stood up for what was right and were heard. Um, Economy, Trade, and Industry Minister Hiroshi Kajuyama told a news conference Friday that the government has no plan to announce a decision on what to do with over 1.2 million tons of treated water as reported. And also as reported... Uh, people will say, well, they're cleaning the water. Well, yeah, but you can't get uh, tritium out. You're playing hell trying to get America out as well. Um, many, many uh, dangers still exist in the water after it has been supposedly cleaned. Uh, it says his remarks came after government sources said last week uh, that it would decide on the release of the water on Tuesday. Prime Minister Yoshidi Suga new prime minister, said last month, during, it feels weird saying it, doesn't it? During a visit to the Fukushima number one nuclear power plant, which suffered meltdowns following the March 11th earthquake and tsunami, that the government wants to make a decision as soon as possible on how to deal with the water. Poisoning your own people probably is not the 
best way to go ahead and deal with the problem. Because then, let's come think about it now. What do you have? You have another problem, don't you? Yes, you have the problem of poisoned people. Don't. A lot of this massive Fukushima update today, sadly, is going to be pertaining to stupidity. It's almost going to sound like the Dunce Cap of the Month award show. We are not at a stage where we can announce the specific timing of the decision on how to deal with the stored water. Uh, Kijiyama said, adding, We want to proceed with the matter carefully. Well, if you were being careful, then you would rule out any plans to release the water into the ocean! Now, already, remember Greenpeace, we covered this last month, said that the radioactivity levels could further alter the DNA. Like, we already know that human DNA has been destroyed destroyed not just by Fukushima, but the bomb testing and various other large-scale nuclear incidences. This could further impact that in a significant way, according to Greenpeace. So basically, they go on and on and on, uh, trying to reword the fact that we won. But I want to remind everybody that it's a small victory, and it's a victory that we're going to have to stay on because they're always looking for new ways and new reasons and new excuses and a myriad of pseudo-fake science to say that it is safe to move in that direction. And just because we won the battle doesn't mean that we're going to win the war. So it's important that we do stay on this. But it is definitely encouraging uh, for those of us who have. Uh, listen to this, friends. Uh, this is MSN. Fukushima Archaeology Dega brings up trove of ancient graves, uh, homes in the same space. Now, how many... I, I, I wish I... If, if the show still ran the way that it used to, uh, with Christelle and everything, I had a number of characters that I used to do. It's not really the same now. It's also very quite cumbersome to do by yourself. It ended up looking tacky. Um, it always was tacky on purpose, but it ended up not being the good kind of tacky, so I quit doing the characters. It wasn't the same in here either. However, if Ard Mortis was still alive, and uh, he, he would be on this story, I don't know if you remember the character, but he was a psychopath who would answer the phone. And uh, that was his character for the show. This is a real-life poltergeist here. You couldn't have had a better story for a, a character which would have been Ard Mortis. And then this one. This is from uh, Kawamata, Fukushima. An excavation site is the in this East Japan town with artifacts found dating back to the late Jomon period, about 3,500 years ago, attracted a number of archaeology fans on November 14th when it opened up to the general public for an exploratory workshop. Yeah, that's safe. Inspections of the Meda archaeological site this fiscal year have brought up a trove of discoveries, including more than 40 human remains and their graves, <clears throat> as well as some 140 wooden pillars in the holes where they stood. Uh, located on the hill about three kilometers southeast of the town, uh, the Meda site was uh, been undergoing inspections since fiscal 2018 of part of efforts coinciding with the improvement of a route there. But I thought it was interesting. I just it's it's interesting to f so many things in Fukushima. They found World War II bombs. <clears throat> now they find homes built on graves. Um, the DNA checks found that uh, some of them could date back up to 4,500 years ago. So, interesting for those who want to look it up again. That's on MSN. Look up Fukushima Archaeology. Doesn't deal directly with radiation, so we're going to move on. NewRepublic.com. The Fukushima nuclear disaster put Japan's climate policy back into a decade-long purgatory. Now, this almost won the dum of the day. Now, it didn't. Because the dum of the day is even worse. But let's think about this for a minute. Let, let, let me explain exactly what this story is saying. It's from Apocalypse Soon. It's a climate change alarmist website. I wouldn't go there if you were looking for sound science or reason on the topic, that's for sure. Now, what's funny about this is it 
does manage to prove the lie of global warming. And I'll explain how that is in a moment. But here's what we've got. It is, you have to clear the head to even say this because it sounds so stupid that it's, it's very hard to realize that this is actually the truth. In order to stop man from harming the planet, Those in the nuclear industry have decided to juggle the most dangerous elements that we know of in the entire universe. Some of the radionuclides in these power plants are not even natural. They have to be created by man. So we're going to play with these nuclear elements. which are far more dangerous to the planet even when they're running properly via routine releases. And in order to stop putting carbons into the air, which may not be good for the lungs, but has already been proven to have not, not, not warmed the planet, but because, you know, the fluorocarbons or whatever are thought to be dangerous, we're going to use the most dangerous elements ever that poison the environment more than coal and gas, even when it's running properly. And then we're going to deal with the meltdowns and things that make it run even worse. And we're going to stand behind this worse idea as a way to save the planet. You're going to have to rewind that like four or five times to grasp what was said, and then the true scope of how stupid it is will make you wonder why you spent so much time rewinding it. But that is exactly what is going on here. Now, I told you that you would be able to ascertain that they were lying in this, uh, that you can prove that man is not warming the planet with this. And the reason is, Japan's been put back a decade? Well, that's interesting. Because when the inconvenient truth was made, what was that, 15, 18, 20 years ago, we were told that if any of the major energy producing nations are using, including Japan, those who use and ran or produce a lot of uh, energy, I should say, that if they were to not fall in line, emissions would climb through, you know, right into the heavens, right? You remember that, right? Well... According to 2019 emission studies, there are less fluorocarbons and whatnot going into the environment than at any time since man started this fiasco known as the battle against the climate cloud. Um, so, clearly inconvenient truth has been proven wrong once again based on the data used from a website that is supposed to be on the side of the global warming lie. That is exactly why you tune in, isn't it? Donate. The correct views on Hotmail.com through PayPal. The Fukushima disaster, again, they're, they're trying to say that because people are afraid of nuclear technology, that they have put the world in grave danger by not going nuclear. Meanwhile, as we know, cancer incident, cancer rates are always much higher near any kind of nuclear power plant, even when they're running correctly. But that's what's going to save us all, is nuclear technology. It says, uh, traditionally, environmental groups around the world have opposed nuclear power due to its health and environmental risk. But as the urgency of the need to address climate check, as soon as you see any kind of wording like that, you just click off because you realize they are a mental case. Those who continually believe the easily provable lie of climate change are doing so because they don't want to admit that they were proven wrong. Not because they have not been proven wrong, because they have. One of the founders of Greenpeace, who we quoted earlier, said there was no climate emergency whatsoever, especially not one caused by man. Some of the leading geologists in the world, along with a total of 500 scientists on the day that Greta spoke, geologists in general, 
were saying that you can tell from the geological record that there have been countless times when the planet has been far warmer that was not tied to anything man did. Man probably wasn't even active yet. If he was alive, he was still in caves. And it wasn't caused by meteor hits because we can tell those on the geological timetable as well. There is no man-made climate change. So what could be dumber than that? We got our dumb deep music! Alright guys, so what is the uh, the dumb deep of the day, friends? How about maybe these people have been huffing too much paint? Evacuee graffiti artists join hands to revive Fukushima Town. The Ashahi Shimbun. Now, um, friends, the good thing about this is if they continue to live in Fukushima, these graffiti artists will be able to join, you know, three hands from each person instead of just two, you know, because of the, uh, the toxicity of the area. So what this is saying is pretty much look at the pretty art and feel good inside by coming back to Fukushima because it's safe. Even though radioactivity levels are through the roof, even though hot particles are as common as sand, even though the life expectancy of those living there are not only greatly diminished, but so is the quality of their health, and that will go on, I don't know, what's the half-life of uranium? We did it, was it in 400 billion years? Oh, but because of the love that's in the spray paint, we can magically find Fukushima to be safe after all. Aww. Idiots! Huffing way too much of their own paint, man. A large hand-painted image on the wall in a vacant lot that should stay vacant until the end of time because of radioactivity levels jumps out at visitors who should not be there unless they want to die, exiting a train station in Fatuba which was a transformed into a ghost town, or rightly so, after the 2011 Fukushima disaster. The striking graffiti art boasts an index finger, pointing to the first word of the slogan, Here we go! Exclamation! Three exclamation points, no less. In front of the east exit of J.R. Futaba Station, as if to say that the town is ready to make a fresh start. Every time I see one of these idiots, I just think to myself, Sam, don't say that they deserve it. Because no one deserves cancer. And this is true. But there also has to be some kind of repercussion taken in. And accepted. When you use your art to encourage people to put themselves in jeopardy for the lie that living in a toxic area is somehow permissible because it makes you feel good and it's good for the economy. And I think something has to happen that's a far greater uh, uh, liability than winning the dumb deal of the day. But friends, that's the best that I can do from where I am. You can share the video and you can do more. You don't believe you can do more? You can stop Japan from dumping radioactive water into the Pacific Ocean. And you can do it largely by sharing this video. And if you don't like my video, then make better videos. It shouldn't be that hard. Thank you, friends. Good night. God bless. Thank you so much for listening.